Are you excited to go to the store? <laughs> He's excited because today's Friday. And what does that mean, Sam? That means if it's Friday, then we're preparing for a long run Saturday. Sit. All right, go. He's no drop. Stop it. Seatbelt. Jerk. So it is becoming kind of like a Friday routine to go to the running store the day before a long run and stock up on anything that I need. Today, we're going for another, I need to buy another water bottle, just to have it reloaded and ready to go. That'd be easy. And I'm also thinking goo packs, we'll see. But tonight also, we are gonna prepare by having pho for dinner um, instead of salmon. So that'll be a nice change of pace. Uh, something nice and uh, high sodium, that way I'm hopefully not like cramping too much. Uh, this past week, I've been training in the 30 rep rep range because last week my quads cramped up at like 18 miles and so I really wanted to condition them to be used to like longer rep ranges um, or just endurance training. And we're also coming in lighter than last week, so uh, I don't know man, we're just figuring it out. We're just figuring it out as we go, but as we go, let's go. Let's get out of here. Let's go. All right, so we're back, and I did a terrible job at recording anything along the process, but hopefully that just expedites everything. I don't know. I just, Whatever. I just didn't feel like recording because I was having a good time with Sam. You all right? Eat slowly. He got a new treat, uh, duck's foot. Anyways, so here is what I ended up getting. Um, I'll show you my spread. I picked up several goo packs. Um, just want to get different variety. I'm not gonna have them. I'm not gonna have them um, all tomorrow. I'm just gonna have two per like long run day. So my thinking was let's do like salty and sweet kind of like balance. Um, I also got some pho. Got some beef pho. I've got some spring rolls. You okay, so that's what I got. Um, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna heat all this up, eat this. I'm also probably gonna have like cottage cheese and some fruit for dessert. That's the plan with some with some honey. Um, and then I'm gonna foam roll, um, Theragun, clean up my apartment, and watch a movie and just kind of relax and go to bed. And good morning to you. It is Saturday, January twenty first, twenty twenty three. Um, I'm just about to get ready to go out on my long run and I just wanted to share with you all an update on how things are going. I want to share with you my weight loss journey. Um, last week you can see that I, my average was 192.7 pounds over a seven day period. Uh, the goal was to get down to 190. Um, I actually averaged 193 this week. I'm not sure why I had that spike on, uh, let's see, the 16th and the 17th. Um, I think that was because that was the day that I went and treated myself to like some boba tea. Um, I wanted to share with y'all also how I've been preparing for my uh, long runs on Saturdays in case you're new to this and you're wanting to uh, be able to, again, just be able to run further or lift longer or just have more endurance. So let me start with, boom. So I started with my strong reds after I had some water uh, this morning. After my strong reds, I had some coffee because I wanted to make myself be able to use the restroom. Um, after coffee, I'm gonna be heading out here soon. So I've got my intraflight with my creatine that I'll be drinking on the way. Um, I try to only fill this up like maybe halfway and that's intentional because um, I don't wanna get like super bloated and need to use the restroom before my long run. Um, so I just try to drink like a little bit. My pre-workout that I drink last um, that I have pretty much filled to the top because I like to sip on it. During my run, I have two water bottles that are already filled up with my, um, my G1M Sport. So I already got that locked and loaded. And then I also have two gel packs. I'll put one in each. That, that way I can just grab and go. But um, I had the idea whenever I bought these that I'm going to do like something like fruity. Um or sweet like in the beginning and then save something like savory or salty for the end um, so that's why I have it like set up like that 
and I felt like it really worked last time. It was it was a nice reward. Um, last but not least, for after after for immediately after my run, I picked up some um, organ organic protein as you can see. Um, I have that here in this one, and then I also have an extra banana um, just in case. And then I also I'm gonna heat up some. Oh yeah, I gotta take my my thermos with me. Um, just as like an emergency scenario in case I like drop too much sodium and I get really cold again like that, that one run I'm back And I fucked up um, I learned to also pack an emergency like uh, beef broth or some kind of like broth so that way you can sip on it But that's what I got. Um, it is 658. So I'm gonna get heading out but I will try and share some footage of the run and the workout. And if y'all got any questions, feel free to comment below. Um, but please like and subscribe to the channel. And uh, yeah, that's all that I got for you. Peace, love, protein checks. Let's get after it. All right guys, just checking in. I'm at an hour, 45 minutes and 43 seconds, roughly 12 miles. Um, I just stopped at the halfway point to use the restroom. Um, I finished my first water pack and my first goo pack and I got my second one, the grab and go. That was really efficient, that was great. And overall feeling strong, feeling light. Weighed in at 193, but running smooth. Let's go, baby. Woo! We're back, baby. It's 11:04, uh, and finished in three hours, one minute, 24 seconds, about 20 miles. Um, and the good thing is, is that I have energy left in me. I feel good. I feel like I could go another four or five miles. Um, and I thought about pushing it today, but I was like, you know what? All week I've kind of like kept it on the lower end, kept this as like a running almost deload week. And I was like, I want to know what it feels like to finish fresh for like 20 miles and just be like, all right, I'm good. So that's what I did. Uh, funny enough, I ran into um, I hope he doesn't mind me mentioning his name. I, I ran into some interesting people. I'll just say that some interesting people that are part of a company and organization that I'm a huge fan of. So um, it was cool. We got to run together, uh, me, him, and his wife, and ran together for like five, ten minutes. And uh, I don't know. It's just like good things come to those who sweat, right? Uh, you never know. And the funny part is, I live in Leander. They live in Georgetown. Um, and we met in downtown Austin on the trail. So anyways, um, I'm going to head back. I'm going to recover and work on this YouTube video and my content for the week. And, you know, hopefully just keep the ball rolling. Um, I think the biggest takeaway takeaways from this week's training um, is it's good to rest. Uh, it's good to work hard. Um, it's good to be dialed in and locked in and focused on a goal and to not deviate from your disciplines. Um, and just learn from, keep learning from your mistakes, man. Like learn from the lessons or the L's that you take. Uh, two weeks ago, I, I finished like 18 miles and I was dying and didn't have enough sodium. And here I am doing 20 miles in the cold shirtless and like feel fine. All because like I had noodles last night, like I said, high sodium, uh, a lot of fluids, um, diet, supplement, rest, foam roll training rep ranges for the weights like everything i think we're just locked in so uh i guess just keep at it john that's what i'm trying to say and just keep following the process baby we're on our way so 
Uh, that's all I got for y'all this week. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you liked what you saw. Um, and give this video a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. But that's all I got for now. Go make it a great day. Peace, love, protein shakes. I'm out.